Hi, welcome to Quickshift Motorcycle TV. Um, today in my workshop we've got a little GSX 1100 uh, from the 1980s that we've just rebuilt a wire and on it. And we need to just finish this job off with a brake fluid uh, flush and a clutch fluid flush. Now, if you do this at home, um, you need to make sure that you've got a decent area to do it and you've got all the right equipment. So you'll need your brake fluid, you'll need a spanner which is already on you need the spanner to undo the bleed nipple, make sure you don't break it in there, and you will need a bottle filled with some brake fluid, not a lot, a plastic tube to go onto the bleed nipple, and a two mil syringe. Now, the two mil syringe is for no other purpose than the fact that I don't want to waste good brake fluid with bad brake fluid. So I syringe it out of the master cylinder, okay? It might take a while, but it means I'm not putting um, dirty brake fluid with clean brake fluid. Now if you have a look at this brake fluid in the syringe, compared to the brake fluid in there, it's a little bit darker. And that's probably because it's just absorbed some of the, uh, some of the moisture in the air, because brake fluid is what we call hydroscopic which means it absorbs moisture out of the air. When it absorbs moisture out of the air, the boiling point changes, making it less efficient and less useful in a hydraulic situation. And clutch fluid and brake fluid on motorcycle, on most motorcycles, is the same. It's all DOT4. Harley Davidsons, older Harley Davidsons don't use DOT4. Older Harley Davidsons will use DOT5. Because <laughs> they're Harley Davidson and they're uh, different to the rest of the world, but um, make sure you do check your manufacturer's manual or recommendations for the brake, brake fluid in your vehicle. If you put the wrong brake fluid in, it could cause you an immense amount of problems. Um, things like dot 5 are quite corrosive, and if your brake lines aren't built for it, you are gonna cause yourself a considerable issue. So, so I don't get the uh, brake fluid all over the paintwork and all over the customer's motorcycle. I'm gonna use this funnel to gently Feed the new brake fluid in. Do it gently and slowly, okay? The idea is it's without air. If you start taking a bottle of brake fluid, this is an old bottle of brake fluid, and start doing that with it, it's gonna take a few days before all that air dissipates out of that and it'll be useless. Okay, so we'll put that out of the way so we don't confuse it. So once I've done that, what I wanna do now is I wanna take this bottle of brake fluid. Now the reason I've put fluid in here is when I put the tube in there, I open the bleed nipple, as long as that tube stays underneath here, it cannot suck more air up, the si up into the system. Okay, it sucks fluid back up. Now, let's see if we can get this on the camera and show you what I mean. So that's submerged in there. <clears throat> I now crack my bleed nipple off up here. ensure that it is actually submerged and very gently push on the pedal release the pedal push on the pedal release the pedal and I'm looking for any air that may be coming out now looking at that there is no air in that system so what we're going to do now is I'm going to hold the pedal down. I'm going to pinch the nipple up. Just gently. And then we're going to give it a bit of a pump. We're also going to check the master cylinder. I'm going to hold the brake down, I'm going to crack it off again. Sometimes on this it can take a while, okay, motorbikes can be a bit of a challenge to bleed sometimes. What you don't want to do is get stressed and quit, okay. And again we make sure it's submerged before I let go of the brake pedal. So before you finish, come back up to the master cylinder. Make sure there's plenty of brake fluid in there up to the level required. I 
once you've done that, you will need to replace the lid, which gives you all the instructions. You'll see on the lid here, well, this is a bit of an old lid, it will say DOT4 brake fluid only, it'll give you all the information that you require. If you've got an older bike and it's worn out, it might not do so, but that's why we refer to the owner's manuals. Um, I'll give you some advice on manuals in a minute, and ones that I use. And the same with this, again, don't do this up too tight, it's only a plastic lid. You'll crack it, it'll be no good. You need to give it a wash down, there's brake fluid there. So a little bit of brake fluid, brake cleaner, get your rag, wipe it all up. Ensure that there's no residue. You don't want it leaking onto your foot pedal, you don't want it leaking onto your tyre. And that's how you bleed a rear brake on a motorcycle. You don't necessarily need a pressure bleeder, you don't need vacuum bleeders, you need a bit of patience, an old glass milk bottle, a bit of pipe, and some dot 4 brake fluid. <laughs>